word from our sponsor. Um, what a beautiful day. Glad that everybody could be here. Um, we ask that you, while you're at your seats, to keep your masks on. I know we're outside, but just for everybody else's safety and just peace of mind that we keep our masks on. For communion, Father Kyle and I will come to you. Um, we ask that you place your palm flat so that we can put the host on your hand. Um, and we'll be going to our first communicants first. Uh, and then we'll be going to families. If there's any singing, I think we're going to have some lyrics to some songs. We ask that you kind of just bop your head and hum along. Uh, that way we're not spreading anything or, you know. So I think we some of the songs we know, but um, I think that's it. So we're going to have a beautiful mass and a beautiful celebration. So let us stand and begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. With and my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who for your glory and the salvation of the human race will to establish Christ as the eternal high priest, grant that the people he has gained for you by his blood may through their participation in his memorial experience the power of his cross and resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated.
A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. I speak to you as sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup we use in the Lord's Supper, and for which we give thanks to God, when we drink from it, we are sharing in the blood of Christ. And the bread we break, when we eat it, we are sharing in the body of Christ. Because there is one loaf of bread, all of us, though many, are one body. For we all share the same loaf. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles returned and met with Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. There were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his disciples didn't even have time to eat. So he said to them, Let us go off by ourselves to some place where we will be alone and you can rest a while. So they started out in a boat by themselves to a lonely place. Many people, however, came, uh, many people, however, saw them leave and knew at once who they were. So they went from all the towns and ran, ran ahead by land and arrived at the place ahead of Jesus and his disciples. When Jesus got out of the boat, he saw this large crowd and his heart was filled with pity for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd so he began to teach them many things. When it was getting late, his disciples came to him and said, It is already very late, and this is a lonely place. Send the people away, and let them go to the nearby farms and villages in order to buy themselves something to eat. You yourselves give them something to eat, Jesus answered. They asked, do you want us to go and spend 200 silver coins on bread in order to feed them? So Jesus asked them, How much bread do you, do you have? Go and see. When they found out, they told him, Five loaves and two fish. Jesus then told his disciples to make all the people divide into groups and sit down on the green grass. So the people sat down and rose in groups of a hundred and groups of fifty. Then Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up to heaven, and gave thanks to God. He broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. Everyone ate and had enough. Then the disciples took up twelve baskets full of what was left of the bread and the fish. The number of the men who were fed was 5,000. The Gospel of the Lord. why you're going to remember this day. Do you know what the first reason is? What's the first reason? Why we're outside. Do you know why? Because of the coronavirus. You will always remember your first communion because of the coronavirus. What's the second reason you will always remember your first communion? Because I don't think there's anybody else who's had a first communion like this. Where are the elephants? Where are the clowns? What's above us? A big tent. A big tent. Right? Two reasons. So I've always, this is like a, this is like a revival, isn't it? So can I get an amen on this side? Can I get an amen on this side? All right. This is pretty good, isn't it? 
pretty good. All right, who likes to eat? Who likes to eat? Everybody likes to eat. All right, so first communicants, I'm going to start over here. What, if you could eat it every single day of your life, what is your favorite food? What's your favorite food? What is it? Say it. Watermelon? Watermelon every single day. With seeds or without seeds? With seed? Wow, with seeds? Wow. All right, watermelon with seeds. Steak. Oh, all right, so do we like rare, medium, well done? Medium well, okay, all right. Maybe, maybe some mushrooms on top and, and un, no, no mushrooms on, just plain, plain. No sauces, nothing. Okay, all right, I like that, I like that. What are we gonna have every single day of our life? We can have it. Bacon? <laughs> Maple bacon, regular bacon. Regular bacon, all right. But what are you having that bacon with? Nothing? Just bacon. All right, all right. Just plain bacon. All right. Every single day of your life, what could you, what could you eat? Mac and cheese. All right, so, so Druthers style with bacon and barbecue sauce and breadcrumbs or just plain with bacon anything else no okay no barbecue sauce what about ketchup maybe maybe, maybe some ketchup all right okay mac and cheese too all right plain oh what about maybe like sausage in it no. Yes. Okay. I actually I'm gonna try that. That sounds pretty good. Very good. What do you think? Burgers. Oh, just a plain burger. What's that? With cheese. Any particular cheese? American cheese. Any bacon on it? No, no bacon. Sometimes, sometimes. Lettuce, tomatoes? No? So just, okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Strawberry cupcakes. Mmm. Really? So do you make them yourself? With your mom's help? Okay. Strawberry's good. Mom? French fries. Oh. So... Outback style, you know, with bacon, cheese, anything on it. No cheese. All French fries. You like cheese? I like curly fries. Curly, curly fries are good. Sir? Bagels. Oh, that's interesting. Plain bagel, anything? Cream cheese? Plain cream cheese. Oh, okay. That sounds good. That sounds good. Any particular place you like to get your bagels from? Brugger's. All right. Well, there's an advertisement for Brugger's. You have a couple. All right. Hit me. Hit me. No? <laughs> you don't want to hit me? <laughs> Which ones are they? Pizza? None of them? No? Spaghetti and meatballs? Anchovies? No. Escargot? Might be some around here. <laughs> no? You don't have a favorite? Everything. I like everything. I like everything. Cool. I like everything. Sir? Eggs. Eggs. You know, there's two others up there in white that love eggs. Love eggs. I think we're going to put chickens in the back. You got some chickens in the backyard? No? So eggs scrambled? Scrambled? Anything in them? Just plain. Like ketchup on the side? No? Barbecue sauce? No? Toast? 
Bacon? <laughs> yes, sir? Pizza! Uh-oh, so here's a loaded question. Where do you get your pizza from? You don't know. <laughs> do you make it yourself? No? <laughs> Kinda. All right, so what do you like in your pizza? Olives? Black olives? All right, okay, that's it? Cheese and black olives? Really? Nothing else? Okay, all right. It's kind of an Italian blend there, right? Very good, all right. What do we like to eat? Tacos. Any particular place for your tacos? Taco Bell. Homemade, okay. Soft, hard shell. Soft. All right, that way you can really load it. Do you like guacamole on yours? Yes, yes, guacamole's good. Guacamole's good. What do you like? Strawberries and Nutella. Oh, that's very, uh, very European. Mm. All the time. All the time. You got a little healthy. You got a little sweet. Oh, very good. Very good. Gotta try that. What is it? Sausage? Sausage. Any type of sausage? Like Jimmy Dean? No? What? Pellegrinos. All right. Well, that's a particular type. All right. How do you like it? The grill? You like it? What? You like it on the grill? Ketchup with it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Wow. There's a lot of great food here. It's making me hungry. So. I love peanut butter pandemonium. Could have it all the time. So when I was a kid. I loved ketchup. I know, it's kind of, kind of, uh, I would put it on a spoon and I'd eat it. I know, I know. Luckily, I gave that up. I gave that up. But my mother would say to me, Jamie, you keep eating ketchup, you're going to turn into a ketchup bottle. Right? Have you ever heard that? Has anybody ever said to you, if you keep eating that food, you're going to turn into it? You're going to turn into it, right? Yeah, you're going to turn into it. Our favorite food would become what we eat, right? Right? All right, so why do we have to eat? Why do we have to eat? To live. To survive. To have energy, that's right. What does that food do for us? It makes us grow, that's right. Anybody over here? Makes us grow. I saw some hands, yes. Makes us healthy. That's right. That's right. Anybody over here? Food is good for us, isn't it? Right? So what happens if I eat Dorito chips every single day? What happens? You get fat. Yeah, that's right. You're going to get fat. You're going to get fat. You're going to turn into a big Dorito chip, right? Yeah. If we keep, if we don't eat good food, right? If we eat junk food all the time, what happens? It's not good for us, right? It doesn't give us strength. doesn't give us energy, right? You might have some, well, you know, in those high school years, break out in pimples and all that, right? It's not good. It's not good for it. But what if we eat good food? Fruits and vegetables and strawberries and Nutella and steak right that gives us energy right it's good food that's giving us nutrients and helps us to grow so what are we doing today what food are you receiving today what food are you receiving today <laughs> what'd you say bread that's right yep bread and well it's it's corona so no wine but in a good time Communion, that's right, bread and wine, right? So who, who did that? Where, who else 
served bread and wine at his meal. Who served bread and wine at his meal? Jesus, that's right. Jesus at the Last Supper. And what did he say? He took bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he said, take this. This is my body. That's right. And he took a cup filled with wine and he blessed and he shared it. And he said, take this. This is poured out for you. This is my blood. That's right. And what happened the next day to Jesus? What happened the next day? Yeah, go for it. He went up. He went to heaven. That's right. He died. He died, right? Yeah. He died for you and for me. And what happened three days later? He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. That's right. But he left us a meal, didn't he? He left us his body and blood. And every time that we come to the altar, it looks like bread. It tastes like bread. It looks like wine. It tastes like wine. But when the priest calls upon the Holy Spirit, and says the prayers, this is my body, this is my blood. It's no longer ordinary bread and wine, but who does it become? Jesus, Jesus, it is his actual body and blood that he is sharing for you and for me. And this food gives us what? It gives us strength. It gives us strength, doesn't it boys and girls? So you are what you eat. If you eat a lot of Dorito chips, you're going to turn into a Dorito chip, right? But when we have Jesus, when we take Jesus in through the Eucharist, how should we become? How should we become? Like Jesus, right? Like Jesus. And how did Jesus act? How did Jesus act? Did he go beating up his friends? No. No. He was nice all the time. He loved his neighbor. He helped those who were in need. He forgave. He showed mercy. He showed love. Right? That's how we want to be all the time. That when we take in Jesus, not just once a year, we can take him in all the time. And when we take him in, we become like him. He's in us and we are in him. That's the beautiful thing, boys and girls, of the Eucharist. It's the greatest gift that God could ever give us. Life. Any thoughts? No? No? We getting hot? Yeah. All righty. Good job, boys and girls. And congratulations. So why don't we stand? And let us offer our prayers and needs to our loving and merciful Father. For the children of God who are receiving their first Holy Communion today and for their families, may the Lord bring us together and make us a lasting Christian Catholic family. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Scharfenberger, Father Ebert, Father Eads, and all the leaders of our church, that they will continue to guide us and strengthen our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our Catholic Church and its people, that we may be a true sign of love among all by spreading the word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear For the poor, the sick, and the homeless, that we may help them by our prayers and good deeds. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear For our teachers, Mrs. Cunningham, Mrs. Kloss, and Ms. Plans, that the Lord bless them for their gifts of faith and generosity in sharing their lives with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear for all of our families, that we spend time this week in prayerful reflection as we count our blessings and consider how we can share them with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we ask all these things through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Now let us offer each other a wave or sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
songs to sing and morning skies. Hands to hold and stars of light, we want to thank you, God. Thank you, God, our family. Thank you, God, for special friends, for peace and joy. While Bird's coming up here, I just want to take the opportunity to thank Mrs. McSparren for all the hard work and all of this together for making it possible. Mrs. Popowski, Mrs. Cunningham, Mrs. Plants, Mrs. Kloss, thank you, our teachers and aides and everybody, especially parents, grandparents, godparents, uh, who have brought our first communicants to this place. Should be on. Hello. Yes. Um, I just want to ask the parents, um, we've had a number of people on the staff and volunteers who've been taking photos of this whole mass. Um, if you don't want your children to be posted on Instagram, can you come and tell me that um, we don't put names, we never put names associated with the photos, but the parish and religious ed both have websites and Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff, and we would love to post those photos, but if you don't want to, can you please let me know, and then we'll sort through them and delete yours, okay? Thank you, everyone, for coming. It was a great, great morning. Thank you. And if we can have our first communicant stand, stand up. Stand up. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> and as we exit <laughs> our grand church cathedral here, um, just remember social distancing and, and keep six feet apart. Um, let us stand. We pray, O oh Lord, that through our partaking in this sacrifice, which your Son commanded to be offered in his memory, we may make us, you may make us, together with him, an everlasting oblation to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. <laughs>